two girls basketball team played their first tournament game this year. News 7's Joe Biega takes us courtside for all the action. The fifth seed 12 and 8 Lady Vikings got off to a good start in the preliminary round against number 12 seed Lady Lancers of Lamoille High School. The Vikings showed they came to play by aggressively putting up points on the board in the first half. The Lancers did the best to keep the game close with some excellent baskets of their own. But it was the second half that the Vikings pulled away for the victory as forwards Riley Blankenship and Kayla Jardine both went into double digits in points. You know, I thought we played some very strong defense tonight, holding them to 40 points. They have a really good player in Katie Lafreniere, and uh, we made her earn her points tonight, but defensively we were really sound. Playing nearly the entire game and putting up four points with nine assists and two rebounds was team captain and point guard Hannah Cornell, who despite having hip surgery earlier in the season, helped drive her team to victory. You know, it's funny, she has kind of a quiet calm on the floor. Uh, in practice, she's a vocal leader. Uh, she has to do so much for us in the game. I think it's hard for her to be vocal and kind of uh, be that leader from a vocal standpoint. But other than that, you know, she's done a lot for us this year on and off the court. Though one of the quietest on the team, her total assists were the most out of the entire team and with mom and dad in attendance, Hannah did plenty to make them proud. Oh, it's been great for my wife and I, you know, watching the girls grow up, come through this program, playing with the same girls that they have, uh, watching their accomplishments over the year, it's been fantastic. Hannah is the second captain for the Cornell family, as her older sister Sarah, who now plays for Linden State, was team captain of the Lady Vikings before her, and is someone who Hannah really looks up to. I don't know, my sister and I are very different, but I do um, like to think that I take after her. I look up to her a lot, and um, you know, I just, I play with, hopefully, with as much intensity as she does. After a 57-40 victory, Linden Institute and Hannah Cornell will take on Milton High School on Friday. In Linden, Joe Biega, News 7. Linden Institute will be away on Friday at 7 p.m. at Milton High School.